Let's talk about the curse of Superman. This alleged curse started the moment the creators of Superman, Joe Shuster and Jerry Siegel, sold the rights to DC. Later on, Siegel gets to work with DC until they fired him, and Shuster had to get out of the entire comic industry due to his rapidly decreasing eyesight. Kirk Allen had the opportunity to be the first live-action Superman, but after that, he couldn't get any work aside from very small commercials. George Reeves got to don the cape for three years, however, in 59, he was found dead in his house right before his wedding. The death was apparently caused by suicide, however, there wasn't any fingerprints on the gun, and apparently had an affair with the studio exec. Lee Quigley, who got to play Infant Kal-El in 1978 Superman, died when he was 14 due to a solvent abuse. Now to the most iconic one, Christopher Reeves, he got into a serious horse riding accident in 95, leaving him paralyzed to the neck down. Kane, Welling, and Ruth are fine, but they couldn't find any other major role after Superman. Henry Cavill played Superman for almost a decade, yet he barely showed up. That's just a man done dirty in Hollywood. Tyler Hecklin seems safe, but let's hope he brings down the curse.